what's up? Hey, um, I wanted to come on and just kind of make a video, see how you guys are doing, um, tell you a little bit what's going on with me since I haven't really been updating you guys. I've been kind of slacking in that department. Uh, there's just been so much going on and um, things have been just crazy, 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 crazy. Um, one of the first things I want to I want to say is that um, well first I want to show you my shirt that I, um, I got um, it's probably going to be backwards to you guys but it's actually quite funny I think it's funny it says beeper styles and then you have no idea if you can see this but you have um, the natural <laughs> the perm the mohawk which is my favorite <laughs> um, then you have the triangle and then you have the shaved and then you have the shag <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. I um I got it a while ago at American Eagle like forever ago, like months and months ago. And I just haven't worn it because well it's it was usually it was just too hot and now that it's like fall um I'm able to wear it again or wear t-shirts cuz it's colder now. Um, another thing, uh, you guys know how I love Starbucks, which I am drinking right now, um, and, uh, pumpkin spice lattes are back, they are, and I'm so excited because, um, I love them, they're like my favorite, and it's so upsetting because they only have them on, uh, around fall time. So for the, and they're only for a limited time, so that just sucks because I love them. I wish they would have them all year round, but they don't. So uh, I just have to deal with that. So I, um, I promised my girlfriend that uh, I would not get one until she got out of work because she loves them as well. So um, I'm just drinking my my usual coffee from there, but. As soon as she gets out of work, we're going to go get a pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks because it's just something that I think that we should do together because, I don't know, it's we wait all year round for it and, um, you know, it's just, I think we should go together, so I'm excited about that. Uh, it's freezing here today. Well, not freezing, but it's like 50 and that's extremely cold. Uh, if you guys know me, I don't like cold weather, but I don't like hot weather, and I don't like snow, but I like fall. If it can just stay fall, I would be just cool with that. Um, what else? Uh, Thursday, I go to my surgeon to find out when I'm having my surgery, and I'm really nervous because I know that, uh, I know that things have gotten really, really bad um, in that area. I'm gonna try putting this down, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me, so I'm hoping that you can. Um, hang on, wait. Okay, so I go to my surgeon on Thursday and find out what day I'm going to have surgery on. I'm not excited about it at all well who is ever excited about surgery but I'm really really nervous um, because I know that my endometriosis has gotten so 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 bad that I don't think it's just gonna be an easy surgery um, I think it's gonna be really really hard and uh, you know I'm just I'm just petrified. I'm, I'm petrified in so many ways. Um, so I'll let you guys know when I'm going to have surgery. Um, you know, I I was supposed to have this surgery a while back. 
um, but then I got really ill and I was unable to have it, so it was postponed. Um, so we will see what happens on Thursday when I go to the doctors. So keep your fingers crossed that everything goes okay because I'm just so, so, so scared. Um, it can be a tough surgery because if the endometriosis has grown on my bladder and my kidneys and stuff like that, it's just going to be really hard and it's going to put me out for a while, a few, a few weeks, and I'm going to really just be feeling pretty shitty and stuff. So I'm just kind of not, not... I'm just petrified because things have been really been tough here for me. I've been struggling a lot um, with so many different ways and and, and um, with money situations because I've been completely poor and I've completely stopped therapy. Um, I haven't seen my therapist in so long. Um, I can't afford to go to therapy right now which is really, really sad. So it's just putting me down and without talking to my therapist, it's it's putting a damper on things because it's making things really hard for me. Um, and um, my girlfriend and I are I'm going to announce that we are getting married on October 6th, um, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, I actually just told my mom today for the first time that we have a date of when we are getting married. Um, and she's very excited. I'm very excited as well. I'm just a little nervous about, you know, being able to afford stuff. And, you know, my girlfriend, um, my fiance, girlfriend, whatever went we went yesterday and she got her wedding gown it was absolutely beautiful um i i shouldn't have seen it but she wanted me there to be a part of it because she just wanted my input and let me just tell you that she looks absolutely beautiful in it and um it's just it's it's amazing um i wanted to read you guys something so bear with me for one minute okay find it um, so I am finding it uh, there's just a couple quotes that I wanted to kind of share with you on life and hope and stuff like that since I'm having such a hard time with things I you know <clears throat> life is one big road with many signs so when you're riding through the ruts don't complicate your mind. Flee from hate, mischief, and jealousy. Don't bury your thoughts. Instead, put your vision to reality. Wake up and live. Um, let's see. <laughs> I like this one. Look at life through the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I have found that if you love life, life will love you back. That one's actually really important to me because I haven't been loving life lately. I haven't really been dealing with much at all. And, uh, you know, I guess it, life goes by so quickly. Um, my grandma has been passed away for, um, Six months. My grandma has been. My grandma passed away six months ago, and um, it feels as if it was just last month. Um, my grandma was everything to me, as you guys know that. But I don't think I'm fully over her death, which has been really, really, really hard. My grandma was everything. She was almost like a best friend to me um, I feel like without my grandma I just don't feel I don't feel as much as I used to 
I always wanted her to be at my wedding, and um, she's not going to be. But I'm okay. I'm not okay with it, but I am, you know. I don't know. I miss my grandma so much, and uh, things have been really just kind of crappy without her. You know. Um... I don't know what else I want to talk about. There's so much. There's so much to say and talk about. And I'm still going to physical therapy, and my nerve condition is just still completely horrible. And I have to go see a surgeon for my neck and for my um, pinched nerve in through here, which I'm not looking forward towards that either because I that's another surgery I have to endure. So lots of surgeries coming up. Um, yeah. I don't know. You know, I don't know if you know this about me or not, but it's kind of a big deal to me that hope is so important. And you know how I always say that if you don't have hope, you have nothing. And I truly believe that with so much in me. And I think somewhere along the way, I have lost my hope lately and I'm trying to get it back. So many things have brought me down that I've kind of lost myself. Uh, you know, uh, I lost myself somewhere and I'm kind of tired of it. I, I wish I could fly, fly away somewhere, you know, just kind of go and just not have to worry about anything, you know. But you take the good with the bad and you smile with the sad and you love what you got and then you remember what you had. You always forgive, but never forget. People change, things go wrong. Just remember, it gets better and life goes on. That's, that's a, like a saying, I don't know who says it, but it's, <clears throat> it's very uh, powerful. And I always say that to myself at least once a day. Um, and I'll write it down below so you know what it is and you can maybe say it. Um, it's, it helps me in my time, my hard times, to just know that things <clears throat> do go wrong and you have to smile through the bad and things do go wrong, but life goes on. So <clears throat> I'll write that down below. And with that being said, my, I'm losing my voice because I just, I'm starting to get sick, but uh, <clears throat> so I hope that you guys are well I hope that you're taking care of one another and taking care of yourself know that you're loved by me and so many other people and um, you know just just keep doing what you're doing keep fighting keep trying don't give up keep your hope um, you know things hurt and it's painful but, you know, as Eminem says, I guess that's why they call it window pane. Uh, that's one of my favorite songs by him. <laughs> and I love that, that part, you know, about the window pane. And it's true, because there's a lot of times where I sit on my windowsill and I think about things and just hurtful stuff. And it's, I guess that's why they call it window pane. I guess now I understand why he says that. Um, so until next time, I love you guys. Peace and love. And um, True Right Love on Her Arms is coming up. Actually, it may even be starting. I don't even know. I'm so out of the loop with things. 
but if you go back to last year's video for Turret Love Honor Arms, um, check it out. Uh, I'll probably, I may make a new one for this year. I don't know if I will be able to or if I'll have time to with just so much happening and me not really being so inspirational, I guess, lately uh, with my own problems going on. <clears throat> kind of why I haven't really been making anything uh, too uplift, lift, you know, uplifting because I'm not really feeling uplifting. So um, just go back to my other two Roy Love on her arms and watch that for this year. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I hope you caught that kiss and if you didn't, there's another one and I love you guys and uh, just keep fighting the good fight and until next time I will be thinking of you guys always and just know that um, whatever you're going through there's someone out there that is going through the same thing and you're not alone